Now it's time to train our neural network model. And to do that, we're going to use the Google Colab Notebook environment. In order to use the Sensimal Analytics Toolkit as part of Google Colab, you'll need to install our Python client. You can do that by running pip install sensimal dev u. After you've installed the Python client, the next thing you need to do is to run this cell here and connect to your cloud account. Once you've done that, now we're going to connect to our project. And you can do that by typing dsk.project equals the name of your project. And then we're going to want to make a pipeline. And the pipeline you can think of as a sandbox environment where all of the steps that you add to your pipeline are executed. And so I'm going to create a pipeline called TensorFlow Lite Micro. Within the pipeline, we're going to add a number of steps. The first is going to be our input query, which is gesture punches, which is one of the queries that we created in the Sensible Analytics Studio. The next steps we're going to add are what we call feature extractors or feature generators. And so by using the subtype call, we're going to add all of the statistical feature generators, shape feature generators, column fusion, area, and rate of change feature generators to our pipeline on across all of the sensor columns. After we do that, what we're going to do is add a feature selection step, which is going to reduce the number of features. So you have to remember, our target is always to run this on an embedded processor where resources are constrained. So the less features that we need to generate for our model, the better. When you run this cell, it's going to build the pipeline on the client side. And it's going to print out all the steps in the pipeline. So you can see right here, it's printing out all of the feature generators. And it's created over 213 feature generators. To execute the pipeline, you simply run dsk.pipeline.execute, which tells our server to execute these steps that are part of your pipeline. I've already done this, so it's going to actually pull from the cache. If you make any changes in any of the previous steps, it'll rerun that step starting from the cached value before it. The output is a data frame that contains all of the feature vectors for our model. And we can visualize that by running dsk.pipeline visualize features, which shows the features broken down by class. Now that we've used Sensible to create a number of feature vectors, the next step is to take those feature vectors and feed them into a neural network. So we're going to run this, which is going to create a train and validate data set. Remember, all of our test data is still up on the cloud. We haven't included this in that test set in this data set at all. Next, we're going to use the TensorFlow Keras API to build a neural network. When you're building a neural network that is targeting an embedded device, there's a few things you need to keep in mind. One, the latency and resource constraints. So we're going to use the TensorFlow Lite Micro inference engine, which has only a subset of all of the total operations that are part of TensorFlow. We're going to use a simple, fully connected network uh, with three layers. And so I've defined that down here. After defining the network graph, the next thing we want to do is to train the model on our data set. You can use this cell here to train the neural network. So you can see here we're plotting the training loss and validation as a function of epochs, as well as the training accuracy and validation as a function of epochs. And on the right, we have the confusion matrix for the training set and the validation data set. Once the model finishes training, the next step is to actually upload it to the Sensimal Cloud. Before uploading, what we're going to do is convert it to a TensorFlow Lite flat buffer. The TensorFlow Lite flat buffer is a representation that is optimized to run on embedded devices. And to do that, all you need to do is run these two cells, which is going to convert, convert the model. And the final step here is we're going to go back to our pipeline. We're going to say DSK pipeline set training algorithm. And we're going to select load model TF micro. And that's going to allow us to upload the model that we've just trained to become part of our pipeline. And then all we need to do is run this cell, and it's going to execute it. And we can run this cell here to see a model summary. 
which tells us the accuracy uh, across the set. We can look at the confusion matrix for the model. The last thing we need to do is save this particular pipeline with a name, which will allow us to persist it onto the server. What I've just shown you is how you can use the Sensible Python client to pull out your data, apply a number of different pre-processing and feature extraction steps, which give you highly optimized features that you can then feed into your neural network. So now we'll go back to the Analytics Studio where we can validate this model against our test set and then download the firmware that we can flash to our device.